little bit quicker, but the main important thing, guys, always what I like to do is I always like to do one step at a time. And the first one I do is inside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, you can see I can apply the power rule. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. And when you guys are getting used to this, OK, so all I did was take the two in front and put it up top. Now I see that I have the addition of two logarithms, which I can rewrite as the product of one logarithm. So I can write log base 5 minus 4 of log base 5 of t squared r. Doesn't really matter the order. Now I see that there's a 4 in front of here. So I'm going to bring that 4 up top. You don't need to bring the negative with it. You can just treat that as a positive and still treat this as the subtraction of two logarithms. But I'll rewrite this as log base 5 of y minus log base 5 of t squared r raised to the fourth power. So just remember, when you put that 4, you're putting the 4 raised to your value of your logarithm. Now I can distribute that using the power to product rule. If you guys remember the power to product rule, if you have the product of two, of two numbers raised to the same power, or raised to a power, you distribute that across multiplication. Remember, we can distribute across multiplication. We cannot distribute across addition or subtraction. So therefore, I have log base 5 of y minus log base 5 of t to the eighth r to the fourth. Does everybody follow? See that? Then lastly, I see the division. So therefore, I write log base 5 of y over t to the eighth r to the fourth. And there we go. We're done. That's it. Crazy. <laughs>